Hello everyone. Now let's discuss about Republic Act 9003, also known as the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000. First, let us define what are solid waste. A solid waste is defined as any discarded material that is abandoned by being disposed of, burned or incinerated, recycled or considered waste-like. A solid waste can be a solid, liquid, semi-solid, or container of gaseous materials. Nationwide, solid waste management has not been among the top priorities in most local government units. Generally, people think that as long as garbage is collected from their household, their garbage problem has been solved. What most people fail to consider is that where do these garbages collected from their household are put into? The answer is in open dump sites. These open dump sites are oftentimes not properly situated, thus harming our environment and of course us humans. Here are some examples of the open dump sites in our country. The one on the upper left is, the, is located in Payatas. The top right picture is located in Talisay, Cebu and of course at the bottom uh, part is located in Zaya Sidio. These open dump sites expose the public to the risk of airborne infection. This is, these are also where scavengers or waste pickers, most of them families with little children, come to pick waste from the dumps without any means of protective accessories, exposing them to all kinds of disease-causing agents. These open dump sites harm us humans and not only us, but also our environment. It affects the environment, especially the groundwater, to the leaching of toxic chemicals coming from the constituents of the decomposing garbage, thus killing our fishes in the river and harm harming our source of food. Also, waste pickers would sometimes burn the garbage after all that has been gleaned, thus actively polluting the air shed. The passage of Republic Act 9003 puts solid waste management into proper perspective. It is hoped that this law will help to meet the growing need to improve the management of increasing volumes of solid waste generated in the Philippines. Republic Act 9003 specifically mandates all, especially the local government units, to adopt a systematic, comprehensive, and ecological solid waste management program which shall ensure, number one, protection of public health and environment, Next, utilize environmentally so sound methods. Next, set targets and guidelines for solid waste avoidance and reduction. Ensure proper segregation, collection, transport, and storage of solid waste. Next is promote national research and development programs for improved solid waste management. Encourage greater sector participation. Retain primary enforcement and responsibility of solid waste management with local government units. Encourage cooperation and self-regulation among waste generators. Institutionalize public participation and strengthen the integration of ecological solid waste management, resource con conservation, and recovery topics into the academic curricula. Good evening. Institutional Mechanism National Solid Waste Management Commission The establishment of the National Solid Waste Management Commission and the Solid Waste Management Board in each local government unit is mandated by the RA 9003 to be represented by public officials in their ex officio capacity and the private sector. The Commission shall serve as coordinating body and likewise develop and implement the National Solid Waste Management Framework. The Solid Waste Management Board, on the other hand, is directed to formulate a 10-year local ecological solid waste management plans, instituting an effective and sustainable solid waste management plan with primary emphasis on implementation of all feasible reuse, recycling, and composting programs. This is pursuant to relevant provisions under the RA7160 or the Local Government Code. The members of this commission are from the government sector, the DNR as the chairman, then for the private sector, a representative from the NGO sector, representative from the recycling industry, 
representative from the manufacturing and packaging industry. This commission shall oversee the implementation of solid waste management plans and prescribe policies to achieve the objectives of RA 9303. RA 9303 also establishes the National Ecology Center, which functions are to facilitate training and, edu and education in integrated ecological solid waste management, establish and manage a solid waste management information database in coordination with the DTI and other concerned agencies on solid waste generation and management techniques as well as the management, technical, and operational approaches to resource recovery and of processors, recyclers, the least materials being recycled or bought by them in their per respective prices. Also, to promote the development of recycling market through the establishment of national recycling network that will enhance opportunity to recycle. Another, provide or facilitate expert assistance in pilot modeling of solid waste management facilities and Lastly, to develop, test, and disseminate model waste minimization and reduction auditing procedure for evaluating options. Comprehensive solid waste management are shown in the following section presented in the slide. For the segregation of waste, the solid waste generated within the area of jurisdiction shall be characterized. For initial source reduction and recycling element of the local waste management plan, meaning a separate container is required for each type of waste, which should be properly marked as compostable, non-recyclable, recyclable, or special waste. Waste segregation shall primarily be conducted at the source including household, commercial, industrial, and agricultural sources. Source reduction simply refers to the methods by which LGU can reduce a sufficient amount of solid waste disposed. Within five years, the LGUs are expected to divert at least 25% of all solid waste disposal facilities through reuse, recycling, and composting activities. The rate of waste diversion is set to increase every three years. For the collection of solid waste, the geographic subdivision are taken into account in the coverage of solid waste collection area in every barangay, ensuring 100% collection efficiency within 24 hours from all sources. The plan shall define and identify specific strategies and activities taking into account the availability and provision of properly designed containers in selected collection points while awaiting collection and transfer, segregation of different types of waste, holding, and transfer of solid waste from collection points to final disposal sites, issuance and enforcement of ordinances for effective implementation, and provision of properly trained officers and workers. All personnel directly dealing with collection of solid waste must be equipped with personal protective gears for their protection. The recycling program, PTI, in coordination with other agencies, is directed to publish an inventory of existing markets for recyclable materials, product standards for recyclable and recycled materials, and a proposal to stimulate demand for the production of recycled materials and products. Moreover, a coding system, otherwise known as eco-labeling, is expected from DTI. Non-environmentally acceptable products shall be allowed within one year after public notice as alternatives available to consumers but at cost not exceeding 10% of disposable product. The use of non-environmentally acceptable packaging is strictly prohibited by the Act. LGUs are mandated to establish material recovery facility in each barangay or cluster barangays, designed to receive, sort, process, and store compostable and recyclable materials efficiently. The residual waste shall then be transferred to a long-term storage or disposal facility or sanitary landfill 
all solid waste disposal facilities or sites in the country shall be, shall be published by the DENR. Note that no open dumps nor any practice of disposal of solid waste that constitute open dumps for solid waste shall be allowed. The Act further provides for the conversion of existing open dumps to controlled dumps within three years. Composting The Department of Agriculture shall publish an inventory of existing markets and demands for compost that is updated annually. This compost intended for commercial distribution should conform to the standard set by the DA for organic fertilizers. Well, good evening everyone, I'll be discussing about the Local Government Solid Waste Management. So, to encourage and facilitate the development of local plants, the NSWMC is mandated to publish guidelines for identification of areas with common waste management problems and appropriate units for clustering solid waste management services. This is to reinforce provisions of the local government code for all provinces, cities, municipalities, and barangays to consolidate or coordinate efforts, services, and resources to establish um, common waste treatment and disposal facilities. Next is the incentive scheme. The incentive scheme pursuant to Omnibus, Omnibus Investment Code um, is provided by the Act to encourage participation of individuals, private organizations, and entities including the government organization um, in developing outstanding innovative projects such as activities like reuse, recycle, and reduce. This includes 10-year tax and duty exemptions on imported capital equipment of solid waste and um, tax equivalent of to 50% of the national internal revenue taxes and custom duties. Non-fiscal incentives are granted to businesses and industries engaging in recycling of waste in the form of simplified procedure for importation of equipment, spare parts, new materials, and supplies, and for the export of processed products. Other forms of incentives include extension of financial services to individuals, enterprises, or private entities, engage in solid waste management and grant entitlement to outstanding LGUs. Those LGUs who carries out the waste management facilities can likewise receive awards, rewards, or incentives. Next is about the penal provisions. So, it provides the comprehensive list of um, acts which are violative to the RA9003. Um, these are the littering, throwing of waste matters in public places, undertaking activities in violation of sanitation operation, open burning of solid waste, causing non-segregated waste, squatting in open dumps and landfills, open dumping, burying of biodegradable materials in flood-prone areas, unauthorized removal of recyclable materials, Mixing of source-separated recyclable material with other solid waste. Establishment or operation of dump, open dumps. Manufacturing, distributing, using, and importing consumer products that are non-environmentally friendly materials. Importing toxic waste misrepresented as recyclable or with recyclable content. And lastly, operation of waste disposal facility on any aquifer, groundwater, reservoir, or water area. So, our conclusion, human activities contribute significantly in um, waste management, recognizing the effects of improper management, garbage crisis, can be prevented by practicing waste characterization and segregation at source. Proper collection and transfer, recycling, and composting as mandated by law. So, um, 
this Republic Act number no. 09003 is so far the most comprehensive law on solid waste management that the country has ever produced. It was created with the best motives in solving the solid waste crisis of the Philippines, whether there are still loopholes that need to be amended, provisions that need to be reviewed and revised. The law is in place and therefore must be implemented in order to effectively manage solid waste and protect the environment. Thank you and good evening.